Hey, Heather. Hi, Kate. Hey, I tried to I tried to catch up with you before lunch. Where were you? I mean, we usually eat together. I had other things to do. Oh, okay. So, do you want? Do you still want to come over to today? I'm busy. With what? Just busy, okay? Heather, what did I do? Mom, I'm home. In here, Katie. Hey. Hi. How was your day? Uh, interesting. Something's wrong, I can tell. Is there something wrong, Katie? Sort of. Well, come, sit down and tell me. Mom, even if I did tell you, you're not going to be able to do anything. Just have a seat and give it a try. Okay, but really, I really don't think there's a point... I'm your mother. You know you could always tell me anything. Oh, well, what's going on? I don't know what's going on. Heather was, like, not very nice to me today. She wasn't. No. Wait a second. Wasn't Heather supposed to come over today? Yeah, she was, but she told me she was too busy. Hmm, let's see. Did you guys have a fight? No. We were fine just last night, but all day she could running away from me. I, I don't know what I did. Well, maybe she has something else on her mind. Yes, yeah, she does. Me. I don't know what I did, but... Honey, just try not to take her personally. She's probably just having an off day and doesn't want to get you involved. I hope that's the reason. Because I like Heather a lot. I don't want to have to... I don't want to have to end our friendship... If it's not necessary. It's never necessary to break any relationship. But listen, um, why don't you give Heather some space? She'll come around. I'm sure that whatever she's upset about doesn't have to do with you. Yeah, maybe not, but maybe so. I mean, she wouldn't sit with me at lunch. And she just kept walking away from me. She was, like, hiding from me. And every time I talk to her, she's not very nice. And this has been going on all day. Well, honey, like I said, just give us some space, and she'll come around. In the meantime, why don't you go start your homework? Oh, yeah. Why would I want to do, why would I want to hang out with my best friend when I could do two pages of biology? Just go get your homework done. All right. Hey, Kit. Hey, what are you doing home so late? I need your advice. About what? Well, I was wondering if you could help me. I'll do my best. What's going on? Heather is mad at me over something. What you do? That's just it. I don't know what I did. Well, did you guys have a fight? Of course. No, we didn't have a fight. I don't even know why she's mad at me. I just don't understand why she is mad at me. Maybe she has something else on her mind. Oh, my God, you and Mom should write a book together because that's exactly what she said. Well, she's right. Just give her space, and when she's ready to talk to you, she's ready to talk to you. <sighs> Fine. I'm going to start my homework now, but not because I want to. Be I want to do it because I'll shut you up. Hey, you came to me. Yes, and now I'm walking away from you. Katie! Yeah? Come here. Okay. <sighs> hey. I know why Mom wants you. Really? Why does she want me? Just... Just go see what she wants. I'm not telling you. Then why are you go... <laughs> Never mind. I'll deal with you later. Hi, Kate. What are you doing here? Your mom told me to come over. I'm um, okay. So what are you doing here? I'll let you two talk. I'm going to go start dinner. Okay. So, 
What's up? Are you going to tell me why you were acting like such a jerk at school today? Hey, <laughs> you want to talk. Okay, Heather, I don't know why you're mad at me, but will you tell me so that I can, so that you can forgive me and I can apologize? There's, I just can't believe you don't remember. Remember what? You really think I'm slow, don't you? What? Yeah. A year ago, today, you said that I must be slow just because I couldn't read the paragraph in history. I... Oh, that. Yeah, oh, that. Look, Heather, I'm really sorry if I hurt your feelings. But I thought we got that settled. Yeah, we thought wrong. Look, I'm really sorry. I did not mean to hurt you. I, I promise. Well, you did hurt me. Look, if you were mad at me this whole time, why didn't you just tell me? Because I thought you were mature enough to realize what you did. I guess I'm not as mature as you think I was. It's not funny, Kate. Look, I am really sorry. I didn't mean to make fun of you that day. But how come you weren't mad at me right after I said it? I was, I just didn't say anything. But when I went to when I went to Jade and talked, she's like, How could you be friends with Katie? What about what she said? What about what she said a year ago? And it all came back to me. My mind me to talk to Jade. You're not funny. And what you said wasn't funny either. I'm really sorry. I, I didn't mean to hurt you. But you did. Look, we are best friends. I thought we were, but I don't know if we are. Look, I don't know why you didn't tell me this a long time ago. Like I said, I wanted to give you a chance to realize it, but it took you a year, and you still don't realize it until I told you. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say. Well, you know... You can't take back words. You can apologize for them, but it doesn't always fix things. I, I know. And I'm really sorry about what I said. I wasn't thinking. No, you didn't think. <sighs> Look, if you don't want to be my friend anymore, I understand. I'm nothing but a jerk anyway. Wait. Sit down. Look, Kate, I'm not as mad at you now as I was a year ago. Well, then how come you kept running away from me in school today? How come you didn't eat lunch with me? I just, I was just so mad. But I was, but I was even madder when, a year ago after you said it, I just didn't say anything because I thought you were mature enough to realize what you said. I'm really sorry, Heather. I didn't know what else to say. I really am sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I was just teasing. Well, it wasn't funny. Do you realize that everyone in my family are brains except for me? They call me a dumbbell. They think I'm a they think I'm a burden. They don't understand what I'm going through. And as my best friend, you should have understood. You're right. I should have. And I'm sorry. I was really ignorant that day, and I'm sorry. Do you think we could put this behind us? Like I said, you can apologize a million times, but it's not going to change what you said. Well, can you at least forgive me? I will. Just not now, but eventually I'll forgive you. Because at least you... At least you didn't deny what I was telling you. Of course I didn't deny it. I'm somebody who takes, who, who's, who I hold responsible for what I say. I don't make excuses. Look, we can talk about it more, more at lunch tomorrow. Will you promise to sit with me at lunch and not run away? I promise we'll talk about it tomorrow. Heather, what? I really am sorry. I know you are. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, 
Do you get things worked out? Kind of. I mean, Heather is still... How do you know about this? Because I'm the one that told Mom to invite Heather over. But how'd you do that when you were... When you were in here the whole time? I did it during during lunch. What? Yeah. I saw Heather um, walk away from you, so I figured... I figured I'd call you, call mom and see if we could straighten it out. You did that to me? Yeah, I mean, you're my sister and I love you and I don't like seeing you this upset. Did you and Heather make up? Sort of. I mean, she still seems a little more angry at me, but not as much. She said we'll discuss it at lunch. Did you apologize to her? Yeah, I did. I shouldn't have said what I said to her a year ago. I just... How come she didn't tell you the day that you said it? She told me that she didn't say anything because she thought I would figure it out on my own. But obviously I didn't. Well, at least you know better now. Yeah. Hey, don't worry. You and Heather will patch it up. You always do. Girls, come in, Mom. Hi, girls. Hey, Mom. Um, Kit, honey. Can you please, um, leave the room? Go get a snack or something. I want to talk to your sister alone. Yeah, sure. Why not? <sighs> so what's up? Did you and Heather work things out? Yeah. Kit told me that you called Heather to try to patch things up. I did. Well, thank you. Did you patch things up with Heather? Pretty much. I'm just still a little mad at me. But she said we'll discuss it at lunch. She doesn't seem as mad about it now. But how did you know me and Heather were fighting? Well, your sister was the first to notice. I know. Kit told me. But you didn't have to listen to Kit and call her. Didn't you want me to? Well, I'm glad you did. I just feel guilty about what I said to Heather. Honey, it was a year ago. I know. But I still feel really bad. I mean, I just gotta learn to keep my big mouth shut. Okay, let's be realistic. You'll never be able to keep that big mouth shut. <laughs> Come on. Come wash. Go wash up for dinner. Okay.